So the other day I was sitting at a coffee shop and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for my next design tutorial. And as I'm looking around the shop, kind of contemplating ideas and just going back and forth in my head, I look at the shelves and they have some really cool like coffee beans packaging. And then the coffee spoke to me. I'm gonna show you guys how to design a coffee label. All right, so let's jump right in. I've got graphicburger.com pulled up, which is a really great resource for mock-ups, UI kits, uh, icons, things like that. We're, we're gonna be using this plastic pouch as a, um, you know, basically like our mock-up for our coffee that we're gonna design. So go ahead and download this PSD. It should be free. Um, and make sure you show uh, Graphic Burger some love. Give them a like or tweet them or something like that. Um, basically they give a lot of like free resources out, which is really cool. Um, so let's open up uh, Photoshop. I've actually got this mock-up open. Um, so what's going on in this uh, document is basically they've made this really nice and easy to work with. So you've got like a highlight here, you've got the actual pouch isolated, the shadow back there. So you can kind of mess around, tinker with this. Go ahead and double click on this um, smart object here. And essentially it opens up a different file. Uh, so we just put our design here and it'll appear on top of our uh, mock-up. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, if I make a square and maybe I make it blue. We'll delete the placeholder layer because we don't need it anymore. But if I go ahead and do that and save it, go back to my mock-up file, you'll see, boom, it just put that, uh, it put that uh, graphic on there. So we're going to go into Illustrator and we're going to make our design there because I want to do some illustration. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we get the same image size of this canvas. So 1255 by 2150. And then we'll, when we're done, we'll paste it in here. So let's move over to Illustrator. Cool, so I want my coffee label to have something to do with like the forest or woods. Um, I actually went to Muir Woods a few months ago uh, up near San Francisco. So maybe we'll call it like Muir Woods Coffee Co or something like that. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and start. Let's type that, Muir Woods. So here's a fun font that I found called Greystoke. Greystroke. So let's see, Muir Woods. And I just really want like a nice, bold, sort of minimal kind of headline here to kind of be my uh, my coffee label title. We have an extra space in there, there we go. Yeah, see this is looking cool. I want this to be sort of like one of those kind of hipster, minimal coffee bags that like, maybe like if you're at a coffee shop and you saw this and you knew nothing about this coffee company, you would just want to buy it and pick it up because it looks nice. So that's kind of what I'm going for is that minimal kind of cool, like trendy looking branding. So I like this font, I think it's cool. We'll use this as our main kind of headline. And let's add in our Coffee Co subtext. And just because I like contrast and diversity, let's, let's change this to, um, I don't know, let's see. I think I have like a Brandon Grotesque Bold. Uh, let's go black. And then let's just current out holding Alt in the arrow. Give a little bit of space. There, now we kind of have like our, our main title here, which is nice. It already looks like it's some sort of established brand. I don't even know if there is a Muir Woods Coffee Company, but who knows? Maybe there will be one one day. Cool. So we have this. Um, this main title here. And I just kind of keep like images like this here as like inspiration. So I can even test this on top. So maybe if I drag that on top, make it white. You can start to play around and just see if like this is working. I'll even throw like a dark kind of black on top of this image just to test this. Pushing this back with the command bracket. And let's just lower our opacity. Yeah, see it's sort of working. We got a nice bold, kind of thicker text right here and a good contrast. So that, that's, that's working, I think. So we'll just go ahead and push this over to the side. Um, all right, so I've been liking this sort of like kind of lighter teal color lately. Or the sea, I keep saying sea foam lately. So just kind of visualizing, let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, I have noticed that a lot of like cool coffee brands will do like a little square little tag at the bottom or even like the top now I'm just kind of like 
quickly just visualizing what I want to do here. I don't, I'm not quite sure yet, so. Just kind of center this guy. But maybe we want some kind of cool little badge or seal down here that um, will be neat. So let's make a circle in the middle of our square, holding Alt and Shift. And let's, um, I think I want to do some type on the path stuff here. So we'll just type um, Muir Woods. And we'll make this smaller, it's a little too big. And maybe this will be like one of those wrapping kind of like badges that just, it's just maybe made of text. Kind of kerning out with Alt and the arrows here. And let's copy this, edit, paste in place. So it just made a copy on top. Oh, I spelled Muir wrong. Mirrored. Let's get rid of that D. Muir Woods. And then for this one, we'll do Coffee Co. And I'm gonna flip this around. So grab this little, uh, I think you have to zoom in here. Grab this little guy right here. And that's not the right one. Sometimes it's hard to find that little like tool. Oh, there it is. See, it's that little line right there. You wanna grab that, flip it up. And there it is. Um, and then, heck, let's just put like a line in the middle. It's like a straight diagonal line here. This is just because I think it might look cool. It doesn't really mean anything, but I don't know. It just looks fun. So there's our little bottom kind of badge or emblem or seal, whatever you want to call it. Um, now let's just duplicate this coffee co, bring it down with Alt and Shift. And we're just gonna say that this is um, a light roast. And let's just make this maybe bold. And let's just shrink them down. It doesn't need to be that big. Yeah, there we go. Should we maybe make it that color? That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm undecided if I want to keep this that color, but we'll see as we kind of evolve this design a little bit more. All right, so since it's Muir Woods, we should probably make some trees. Um, Let's just make some really cool minimal style trees with this uh, with this line segment tool. Actually, we'll use our pen tool. So starting in the middle, we'll grab. Uh, oh, see, I, I, this is a no-no. I always want to delete all these colors because I don't want I don't want to be bombarded with all these different colors. And I'll just sample this and then add it to my palette. Cool. So now I have this sort of like seafoam color in my palette, but. Um, I'm gonna use the same seafoam color, turn my fill off, just keep it to the stroke, and just start drawing this tree here. So this is like the uh, trunk of the tree. And then we'll just make it, I don't know, let's see, five. Now nah, we'll go like 10. And we need to make some, some branches. So I'm just gonna use my pen tool, kind of just make this like curved branch. And then grab both of these, click on the stroke, and do like a rounded cap. I just want it to be round. And then, let's see, just play around with this, kind of manipulate this till we like it. Bring this piece up, just connect it to the top. That looks cool. So I'll just hold Alt and Shift, and drag this down about there, and then just Command D all the way down. Uh, maybe not that much. And then I'll just grab all these guys, Alt, and drag and shift and reflect this. all down because I might want to put some kind of title at the top too. Let's see, so we got Light Roast, Mirror Woods, Copy Coat. Maybe we can say like what type of 
coffee. Is this whole bean or is this ground? Let's do whole bean coffee. So let's grab uh, this light roast and bring it up here. Just write whole bean coffee. And then um, I'll make this my darker color and just shrink them down a little bit. And let's just add a little text effect here, a little warp. Let's give them a little bit of, a, of an arc. Maybe like a 20? Yeah, 20 is cool. So that'll just kind of sit right on top at the very like top of the bag. Near Woods Coffee Co. Um, it's getting pretty close to being done. Like I like this minimal look, but I think we could do a little bit more. And I'm still undecided on the light roast if I want to keep it that seafoam color or not. But let's just, um, just to keep these stroke elements happening, we'll, uh, we'll grab our pen tool, just draw some lines here, and we'll just sample the stroke that we have up there. And this is just adding some uh, extra, extra flavor, extra texture. Oops. We'll duplicate him over here. Just mirror him. Mirror, mirror. And then um, we'll do the same thing. Maybe, maybe each piece of text gets its own stroke line. And again, this is just me trying things out, seeing if they work or not. Just to see. That's kind of cool. I could probably go for a third, but it might be too much. Let's see. Let us see. It might be overkill to put three lines, but we'll see right now. That's the thing about like minimal design is you can always take away. Actually, it doesn't look half bad, but I'm gonna get rid of it because part of me thinks it's too much. This is looking cool. Let's try this. Let's try this black and see if we like it. Ooh, do you like it black? Hmm. I don't know. Let's test it. Let's put it in the design. We'll see how, see how we like it. So we'll copy all this. We'll go back to, uh, we'll go back to our Photoshop file. Um, that's right. We made a blue square. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, make another layer. And let's just paste as a smart object our design in here. And just kind of uh, position this so that those lines kind of bleed off the edge. And you just hit enter. This is where it gets cool. So let's go back to our mock-up. Oh, we didn't save, did we save? File, save. Boom, look at this. This is looking sexy. All right, so let's get rid of this blue in the background and make it the same color as this. Oh yeah. See, like, I don't know anything about Mirrorwood's Coffee Co, but Damn it, if I saw this on the shelf, I'd want to buy some of this coffee. I know I'm tuning my own horn a little bit, but I think that looks pretty cool. Like, really quickly, we used some cool fonts, made some simple line and art, and, um, you know, this looks like something that is a trusted brand. You know, maybe there's some younger kind of coffee company that just started up, but, you know, you don't have to overdo it, I guess is my point. Like, just some nice branding and, and nice color palette, and you're off to the races. As always, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and you'll see some more awesome content. If you happen to be drinking coffee right now too, cheers.